Hey guys, Tobias here with Hit House. Um, we're gonna come at you with a 101 shadow boxing class. We're gonna have a nice and easy warm up. We're gonna go over some footwork basics for our shadow boxing. And then we have two three minute rounds, three minute ab circuit, and then two rounds at the end to finish out the class. So starting right away, we're gonna start off with arm and leg swings. So we're just swinging our arm forward just to open up our shoulders. Let's just do five on each side nice and easy and then we're gonna switch to the other side and two three four and five and then now like you're doing a slam dunk three four and five and then the other side again one two three four and five and now we're gonna do standing leg swings it's a little easier if you can hold on to the wall but um, we're just gonna do standing so just bringing that leg up and forward, opening up our hamstrings, our quads. Just gonna do five on each side, and then transition to the other side. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Awesome, now we're gonna stand shoulder uh, width apart, and we're just gonna do some nice and easy hip rotations. If you're familiar with SpongeBob, bring it around town. Five on each side. Once you're done, you're gonna rotate the other way around. Two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna bring it down to the ground. We're gonna go into plank position. And from here, we're gonna go into lizard and twist. So left foot outside of left hand. Bring that left hand up to the sky. Back down and reset in plank. Then right side up to the sky, back down, and again, that's one on each side. We're doing five on each side, so here's two, reset, and two, set, three, reset, three on the right, set, four, nice and easy. We're just opening up our hips here, and then our last Couple here, five, and on the right, five. Very nice, we're gonna stay in plank position, and from here, we're just gonna do knee to elbow, five on each side. There's one, two, and there's two on each side, and then three, and four on each side, and finally, five, and five. All right, great, go ahead and come on up to standing. So, next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over some footwork technique for our shadow boxing. So, we're gonna get into our stance. Now, as you know, we're gonna have our dominant foot back, so we step back, it's at a slight 45. Dominant hand's gonna be right by our chin, our cheek. Lead hand's gonna be slightly out in front. Now, just make sure those elbows aren't splaying out, but they're nice and tucked. And then this chin, you see my chin right here? I'm gonna tuck that down. So it's nice and tucked. So we have kind of like a turtle, a shell stance. And from here, we're gonna focus on moving forward, back, right, and to the left. So when you're moving forward, you're gonna initiate with the foot that's going in that direction. So when you take a step forward, forward foot, and then your rear foot, stepping back, back foot, then lead to the right, right foot, then left, and to the left, left, then right, okay? And then one more time, forward, and then a rear foot, then it's rear foot, then lead, then to the right, and then to the left, okay? And one more time, forward, and back, and then to the right, and to the left. Okay, great, now shake it out, shake it out. So these are just some basics in moving while we are shadow boxing in our footwork. Um, the next thing we're gonna go over is pivoting. So obviously, when you're fighting someone, it doesn't just happen on a linear plane, right? Your opponent isn't just tracking back and forth like ping pong. What's gonna happen is you're fighting in 360 degrees. They could turn. So we're gonna focus on pivoting. So we're getting back in our stance here. Now, if we wanna pivot to the right, what I'm gonna do is keep my lead foot planted and I'm gonna swing my rear leg out behind me. So I pivot like this. Very nice, as you can see from Sonia and Christina. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna pivot in that same direction one more time, keeping this foot planted and I pivot. 
Nice work, and then we're gonna track right back. Then if we wanna pivot to the other side, we're gonna take a slight step to the right, and then we're gonna pivot on that foot. Very nice, and then we reset. And then one more time, step out to the right, and then we pivot. Okay, great, great, great. Now reset, reset. Now we're gonna um, combine the two. So forward, back, right, and left, and then adding some pivots in there as well. So in our stance, we're gonna go forward and back, and then to the right and to the left. Then we're gonna pivot, and then we're gonna reset, and then we're gonna pivot to the other side. Very nice, reset. Now we're gonna go forward, then we go back, we go to the right, and we go to the left, then we pivot, and then reset, and now we pivot to the left, and pivot, nice. All right, nice work, and shake it out, shake it out. So, what we're gonna go into now is our first two three minute rounds. I'll show you guys what the combination is, and then Sonia here is gonna demonstrate it as if she had a heavy bag, or if you had a heavy bag, and then Christina here on my left is gonna demonstrate just straight shadow boxing, so without a target. It's really important in our shadow boxing that we envision an opponent in front of us. We wanna make it realistic. So, you're gonna see both representations here on my side. So. That being said, we're gonna go with our first combination. It's going to be, we're gonna be in our stances now. It's going to be double jab, so one, two, from here. Then we're gonna throw a teep from either side. It can be a lead teep, or it can be a rear teep. And then we're gonna finish with a body kick on either side. So it can be right body kick, or it can be a switch body kick. I switch my feet, pivot, and bring my hip up and over. So, one more time, just to demonstrate, it's gonna be double jab, one, two, then it's gonna be teep on either side, teep, and then finishing off with a switch or regular body kick, all right? So, that being said, first three minute round is gonna start, and clock's on, let's go, let's go. So again, you wanna make sure with your jab that you're fully extending your arm fully rotating your body. And for our teeps, we're gonna bring that knee to about waist height and then fully extend, striking with the ball of our foot, okay? Common misconception that you're striking with your heel. No, you wanna strike with the ball of your foot. You can keep your hands up. You can have the hand on the same side, extend out in front of you. And with the body kicks, you wanna make sure that you're really pivoting on the ball of that foot, bringing that hip up and over. And in a few seconds, we're gonna do a little bit of a sprint. I'll let you know when that happens. Again, we're always tapping our feet when we're shadow boxing. Sometimes we might change our angle. And from here, that double jab. Throw that teep. Nice teep, Christina. I saw it out the corner of my eye. All right, for the next 20 seconds, I want non-stop uppercuts. Let's go. It's really important on these uppercuts that you're always dropping your elevation and then coming upwards with the strike. Keeping that elbow tucked into those ribs and then releasing for length. All right, and back to the combination, back to that combination. So I'll show you from this side angle here. We're gonna go double jab and then teep on either side. Boom, right into that body kick, switch or lead body kick. Nice work, nice work, Christina. Nice teep right there. Notice how she's changing her angle. She's not always in the same spot. She's moving as she's striking, as she's punching. All right, always tapping our feet. And as we can see from Sonia's side, nice switch kick right there. Nice work, nice extension for that jab. All right, all right. And sometimes you can throw in some blocks. You can block that way, bringing your knee up to that elbow. Okay guys, and non-stop squats. Let's go for the next 20 seconds. Just straight squats. Going down, up. Make sure you breathe, make sure you breathe. Keep that body nice and upright. And five more seconds. Two and one. All right guys, final few seconds of this round. Again, it's that double jab. Throwing that teep right into that body kick. So notice how my jab sometimes 
creeps me forward, okay? So when I jab, I move forward and then I retract or I go forward twice with my jabs. Okay, and that teep, show you from the side view here, teep and then body kick. All right, three, two, one, and time. Ooh, great job everyone, great job. Hope your bodies are nice and warmed up. Great work on that first round. So, second round, we're gonna focus on, um, we're gonna open up with a cross this time. So, in our first combination, we started with the jab. This time, we're gonna start with the cross, so the dominant hand. So, we're getting in our Muay Thai stance. Here we are. And then it's gonna be cross. Then it's lead uppercut, cross. And then from here, we're gonna throw a leg kick, all right? So I'm in my cross here, I retract, and then I step off to the left as I throw my leg kick, okay? One more time. So we're doing cross, uppercut, cross. And then from here, I can choose to leave this hand out and extended in front of my opponent's face, and then I throw my leg kick. Now, the anatomy of the leg kick. It's kind of similar to a soccer kick. It, well, uh, yes, it's, it's similar to a soccer kick in that you are pivoting and you are uh, throwing your leg as if you're kicking a soccer ball. Now, the intended target is right between the knee and the hip, right at their thigh. And then you're gonna drop your elevation too. Notice, I get pretty low to the ground. That's if my opponent tries to counter with a cross, I'm out of the way, but I'm striking long, okay? So, that being said, this is our combination number two, and clock's on in three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Clock's on. So again, in our stance, we're tapping our feet. We're always moving, always moving. Notice how I'm incorporating some pivots in there. I'm incorporating some hand play there as well. And then it's cross, uppercut. Maybe I reset, I throw my cross, and then I throw my leg kick. Now you don't always have to throw the leg kick on the same side, you can do a switch leg kick too. So what does that look like? I switch and then I throw my leg out. Notice, I'm still stepping in the direction that my kick is going and then I reset. Always make sure you reset. Okay, tapping my feet, tapping my feet, changing my angle, cross, uppercut, cross, and then from here I throw my leg kick. Nice work, Christina, nice and then reset, so important to reset. All right guys, next 20 seconds, non-stop straight punches, let's go. Okay, cross. Woo, almost there, almost there. And three, two, one, and back to the combination. Nice work guys, nice work. So again, that combination, cross, uppercut, cross, right into that leg kick. Now, as you can see, it's very easy. Instead of throwing that leg kick, you can easily just throw a body kick. It's a matter of elevation. And it's also a matter of what um, expectation you're setting up for your opponent, right? So if they start to feel that you're throwing that low kick every time, then change it up. Throw that body kick. But again, for now, just focusing on that cross, uppercut cross, moving, pivoting, and throwing that leg kick. Tapping our feet. All right, guys. And now, next 20 seconds, jumping jacks. Nice and easy. Most important thing for a fighter, of course, is technique, but also stamina. You wanna make sure you can last these rounds. These rounds are long. You're doing a lot. You're processing a lot of information. And three, two, one, and back to the combination. Just the next few seconds here. So again, that combination, cross, uppercut, cross. Always moving, pivoting, I'm using my footwork. Maybe I creep forward, I creep back. Nice leg kick there, Sonia, I saw that. Okay, and then again, cross, cut, cross. And I throw my leg kick, all right. Again, always adding my footwork. See, notice I pivot. Sometimes I throw one strike, second strike, and then I pivot. Then I finish, and then I reset. Maybe my opponent moved over here. So again, always important to track where they're going. And time. Nice work, guys, nice work. Awesome stuff. So now we're gonna transition right into our three-minute 
ab circuit. I'll make sure you guys get a bit of a breather. So the three exercises we're gonna do, side plank, 30 seconds on each side. Then we're gonna do sit-ups with a elbow when you come to the top. Again, if you want it uh, to modify it a little bit, um, you don't have to throw the elbow. And again, you can take breaks at any moment that you need to. And then the final exercise is just gonna be push-up plank or forearm plank. Again, holding it for a minute. Sound good? Sound good? Awesome, okay, awesome, awesome. Like that enthusiasm. So we're gonna start right into our first exercise. Yeah, sound good? So we're gonna go right into side plank, going on our sides. We're gonna start with our right side, left side going up. And three, two, one. Here we go. Let's make sure that we keep this hip pointing up towards the ceiling and your left hand stretching out nice and long. You wanna keep that through line from your heels to the crown of your head. And I'll let you guys know when to switch. Woo. Make sure you're breathing, make sure you're breathing. Now you don't always have to have your feet stacked. You can have one foot off to the side or behind. It still has the same effect. You're still working that side body. All right, and switch. Let's flip that egg, other side, other side. And again, keeping my hip up into the air. Again, I can have my feet stacked or one off to the side and behind. Woo! I'm feeling the burn. I hope you're feeling the burn. Yes, yes, there you go, there it is. All right, and three, two, one, and time. Okay, we're gonna transition right into our next exercise. I'm gonna show you from a side angle. And from here, we're just doing straight sit-ups. So we sit up, once we get to the top, throw an elbow, and then go back down and come back up. You don't have to do it at my speed or our speed. We're just doing this for a straight minute. So take your time and go, let's go. Now, if you do choose to throw these elbows, you wanna make sure you're throwing it with good technique too. So notice when Christina comes up, she's fully rotating her shoulders. We can't really rotate our hips because you know we are sitting on our butts. But as you go in, you notice she's getting that full body rotation. Nice work. Same thing with Sonia. She's doing the exact same thing, getting that rotation. That other hand is covering her forehead while that other arm is extended to strike with that slashing motion. All right, in just a few more seconds here. And three, two, one, time. Okay, final exercise, one minute plank. Let's go, right away. Holding it in push-up plank or forearm plank, your choice, completely up to you. If you need to modify it, that's okay. You can go down onto your knees. I'll show right here. So if I'm in for, uh, push up plank, but I'm on my knees, I make sure I keep a stable through line from the crown of my head out the back of my knees. Or just go right into plank. Yeah, feel the burn. We got it, we got it. 30 more seconds. Woo! Feel that pep in that step. Oh my God. Woo! Planks are the worst, but they're also the best. You know, you can't, uh, you can't not do a plank. This is Muay Thai after all, okay? 10 more seconds, come on, let's go, let's go. Almost there, five more seconds. Two, one, time! Woo! Oh, great work, great work, guys. So, we got one minute break right here. Grab some water, let's rehydrate, refocus. Ah, um, so I am exhausted, I am tired. And that's what you should be feeling too. But again, just be mindful that not, um, you don't have to push yourself every single time. There are many different ways to modify these exercises, right? So if you're doing the plank and you're like, I can only go for 10 seconds, that's totally cool. Just modify it so you go on your knees, etc. Um, so a lot of these exercises and things that we're teaching you can be modified, can be slowed down. Same thing with shadow boxing. You don't always have to be gritting your teeth and uh, punching as fast or as hard as you can. It could be nice and slow and measured. Not every strike has to be the same beat, the same rhythm. 
You can really take your time. Be nice and fluid. Be nice and flowy. Okay, that being said, we're gonna jump right into our next two combinations. So, combination number three is just gonna be punches. We're just gonna focus on building our fast hands and footwork in between. So we're gonna start with a one strike, then two, then three, and then four, and then go back to one. So we're building from a pyramid. So we're gonna start with a single jab, that's one, and then we retract. Then it's gonna be jab cross, one, two, and then we retract, as you can see, Sonia's demonstrating on a bag. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, jab, cross, hook, full body rotation, pivoting on the ball of my foot. And then finally, jab, cross, hook, finishing with a cross. Okay, so one more time, that last four is jab, cross, hook, finishing with a cross, okay? So again, you wanna make sure after number one, you retract, Take your time, add some footwork in there, go forward, go back, turning around. See, my back is to the camera, but it doesn't matter because my enemy or the person I'm fighting is gonna be all around. So we're not always gonna be in this stationary position, okay? So, that being said, clocks on and go. So it's a three minute round, just like the other two rounds, focusing on our punches, focusing, adding footwork in between. So notice, my lead leg, sometimes I poke it out and then I come back. Sometimes my movements are really small, really tiny. They don't always have to be these big sweeping movements. They can be tiny, they can be small. Moving, always moving, always staying nice and light. And again, it's jab, then it's gonna be jab, cross. We reset, maybe move a little bit, pivot, jab, cross, hook, and then finally, jab, cross, hook, cross. Nice work, guys. Notice that pivot on Christina's hook. It's looking really nice and tight, but also getting that pivot on the ball of her foot. Watch Sonia here. Nice work. See that elevation change. Not every strike is going to the head. Sometimes we're going to the body, too. All right, guys, now, non-stop teeps for the next 20 seconds. Let's go. Again, if you don't have a bag, just like me and Christina, we're just exercising good technique and doing, getting full extension on our teeps. Woo! 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and back to that combination. Okay, what's that combination again? Let's recalibrate, let's think about what we're doing, let's focus on detail. Jab, retract. Then jab, cross, retract, back into that jab, cross, hook. Maybe on that hook you're stepping to the right as you're throwing it, and then jab, cross, hook, into that cross. Nice work, let's take a look here. Nice work, nice extension on that cross. Notice how she's pivoting on that back foot for that cross, getting nice power from her hips, not just her arms. Nice hook there, nice long hook. Nice work dropping that elevation to come into the body. All right, all right. And again, always being mindful that we're moving. Okay guys, for the next 10 seconds, we're gonna block, block, and then throw a teep. Then block, block, throw a teep. Let's go. Block, block, throw a teep. Block, block, throw a teep. Again, you don't have to go at any particular speed. And three more seconds. And see, I'm getting tired. And okay, back to that combination. Final minute here. And a jab. And it's gonna be jab, cross, moving, moving, flowing. Jab, cross, hook. And then we turn around again. Watch where your opponent is moving. Jab, cross, hook. Firing that cross again. All right, just last 10 seconds here. Last 10 seconds. Make it count. Again, when I say make it count, doesn't mean you have to go faster suddenly or slower suddenly. It's what works for you right now in this workout. And three, two, one, time. Awesome work, awesome work. So we have one final round. You guys have been doing great. You guys have been sweating along. Hope you haven't bumped your shin on any table or any furniture and knocked anything over. So we got this final round. In this round, we're gonna bookend the first 
and the last strike, first and the fourth strike, with teeps, okay? Now it could be either side, and the two in the middle, it's gonna be cross, and then a lead elbow, okay? So to make that a little clearer for you, it's gonna be teep, either side, then cross with that rear hand, and then right into our lead elbow, then we're going to step back, and then throw another teep. So one more time, I'll show you with this side angle here. So we're starting with a teep, then cross, followed by lead elbow. Then we're gonna step back. So we have space, we have distance, and then throw a teep at the end. All right, sound good? So here we go. Clock's on in three, two, one. Go, go, go. So again, what's that combination? What's that combination? What's that strategy that my cornerman told me to work on? Okay, here we go. We got our teep here. Oh, he's moving, he's moving. Cross, I come in for that elbow. Oh, he's coming in again. I'm gonna teep him back, or her. Who knows? Who knows who it is that you're fighting? Okay, again. You just wanna focus on that technique. That's good too. Not every workout has to be a sweat fest, or it can. Again, you dictate the pace. And teep again. Okay, one more time. And we're gonna teep with that cross elbow. Notice on the elbow, sometimes I'm stepping forward to break the distance, okay? One more time. So I throw my cross, and then I come forward with my lead foot as I finish that elbow, and then I step back for that teep. Okay, guys, non-stop elbows. The next 20 seconds, let's go. Elbow, 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 elbow. Let's get full body rotation. Let's turn our shoulders, turn our hips, pivoting. Now you may know there are other elbows as well. Punch elbow, downward elbow. Five more seconds. And back to the combination, back to the combination. We got teep, cross, lead elbow. I step back, I make space, then I throw my rear teep. Gotta smooth that hair out too. No, I'm kidding. And then we throw our teep, <laughs> cross, elbow, step back, play, play, play. And then we throw teep again, changing our angle, changing our footwork here. Not always fighting an opponent that's in front. Again, my back is to the camera, that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about who's watching. Just worry about that technique. Step back. All right guys, next 20 seconds, non-stop punches, let's go. Non-stop punches, it can be straight punches, uppercuts, hooks, cross, doesn't matter. Anything you want. Nice work, Sonia. I hear that bag. I hear that bag. Nice work, Christina. Boom, boom, getting that extension. All right, and final minute, final minute. Again, if you need to slow down, that's okay. Just make sure you're always in your stance. You don't want to show your opponent that you're tired. Or you don't want to betray yourself and say, oh, I'm tired. I can't do this anymore. No, no, no. We want a nice, energetic attitude here. Okay, so again, it's teep. And then we have cross right into that lead elbow. We step back, make some distance, and then throw that teep. 30 more seconds to go. Almost there, guys, almost there. Cross, elbow. We step back, we angle out. Maybe our opponent wants to come in and we throw that teep. All right, 20 more seconds. Tapping, tapping. Notice I'm incorporating my footwork in there. And teep. Cross, elbow right into that teep, boom. All right, last five seconds, last five seconds. Let's go, push through. And teep, and time. Great job, everyone, clap it out, clap it out. Hands in the air in victory. Woo, nice work, guys, nice work. So again, thank you so much for joining us for this class. Again, my name is Tobias with Hit House bringing you some shadow boxing 101, also some rounds with some technique in there. Um, hope you guys had a great time and we will see you very soon. So take care.